Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to bring you this video, how you can qualify for this credit card with no hard inquiry pull and no credit score is required. Now, if you are not aware, adding credit cards to your credit profile, if you are under a 700 credit score, can increase your credit on average by 50 points without even removing one negative item. So this would be a great card if you have trouble credit to try to increase your credit score. Now, if you're new to my channel, I bring you information to help you no matter where you are in your credit journey. So if you like that kind of information, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you hit your notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. And in 2023, I'm going to show you how to leverage your credit to gain assets. And I give you a free hard inquiry removal package at my website because hard inquiries can get you denied for credit. So you can go to my website and download this free package and I have other deletion packages for your negative items for purchase at my website. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description of every video and in the pinned comment section. So let's jump into this information. Now, this card is designed to help those with trouble credit to help build their credit score. So with this credit card, it is very little requirements to qualify and you don't even need a credit check and it reports to all three major credit bureaus. Now, when you have a credit card and you make on-time payments, number one, it'll help you with your payment history, which is 35% of your credit score. And if you're under a 700 credit score, by adding on a line of revolving credit like this, it helps your utilization, which is debt to available credit. So you can increase your credit score with this card. Now with this card, it is a secured credit card and your deposit amount would dictate your credit line, but they do allow you to open two accounts. So if you're a person with trouble credit and you're trying to increase your credit score, the great part, once this card reports, you can open another card just like this to help boost your score and you won't be denied and have a hard inquiry. Now, the minimum to start this credit card is a $200 deposit, but I did contact the company and you can get higher limits with the link I'm going to put in the description of the video in pink comment section where you can get either a $200 card, $300 card, $500 card, a $750 card, a $1,000 card, $1,500 card or a $2,000 card. So you can put that deposit and within three days, they'll report that line of credit to your credit reports with the three major credit bureaus. Now, if you can do a larger deposit, understand how the credit system work when banks is looking to extend you credit, they look at the last bank that gave you a credit card and judge you off of that. So for instance, if you're approved for a $2,000 credit card and you go to another bank and apply for their credit card, they're going to either give you just a little bit less, like maybe a $1,500 credit card or match that $2,000 credit card, or even give you a little more, maybe even a $3,000 credit card. So you want to keep that in mind if you can put a larger limit. So I suggest 
once these cards report or card report and your score go up, then you look to see where your score is at that time and then go to apply for an unsecured card to see if then you can get another credit card and that will help you increase your credit score further. Now, always remember that strategy just worked for people that's under a 700 credit score. So if you want to get your score up to a 700 and above, you want to use that strategy. But if you're already over a 700 credit score, you don't want to do that because it can decrease your score because it will affect your age of credit. But for those that's under a 700 credit score, you can use that tactic even without removing a negative item. Now with this card, the application process is only a two minute process. You can get two credit cards, but the only thing, if you're in a active bankruptcy, you cannot get this card. You just have to make sure you wait till you come out of that bankruptcy. So if you file like a chapter seven and that's closed out, you can be approved for this card. But if you're currently in a chapter 13 and it's still open and haven't been discharged, you would not be able to qualify for this card. Now they will be sending you a card after the card reports in three days. But it will take two to three weeks to receive the card and the card will be issued by first progress. Now, because there's no credit check, sometimes they may have to verify your identity to just make sure you're a real person. And this card does have an annual fee of $29. And when the card report, they will add that $29 annual fee. Also, the APR on this card is 19.99%. So this is a good option if you're a person that's trying to increase your credit score. If you have trouble credit, you can really use the strategy I gave you in this video to help increase your credit score, even while you're trying to remove your negative items. But always keep in mind for that strategy to work for you, you need to be under a 700 credit score. You don't want to have, have any active late accounts, meaning if you have a credit card account now and every month it's late, you want to wait at least 90 days or any negative reporting like a new charge off or a new collection that hits your credit report. Wait 90 days and then start to work that strategy because um, it takes at least 90 days for your uh, uh, your score to heal when any negative thing comes in. You'll get an initial hit and you might see a 50 point drop, but after three months, you'll start to see your score to go up. So I suggest if you're going to do this strategy I gave you to increase your credit score, make sure you wait that 90 days. But if you don't have anything new or negative, you can go ahead and do this process and then go for an unsecured card and then that would help increase your credit score. So hopefully this is helpful to you guys. I put the link in the description of this video and you can come here and start your application if you're interested. So if you have questions, you can drop it in my comment section. But if you have more personal questions, you can reach me at my website and all your questions go directly to my cell phone. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.